I have told you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass, ye might believe. John 14.29 Many persons, myself included, have observed events before they occurred, that is, before they occurred in this world of three dimensions. Since man can observe an event before it occurs in the three dimensions of space, life on earth must proceed according to plan, and this plan must exist elsewhere in another dimension and be slowly moving through our space. If the occurring events were not in this world when they were observed, then, to be perfectly logical, they must have been out of this world. And whatever is there to be seen before it occurs here must be predetermined from the point of view of man awake in a three-dimensional world. Thus the question arises, are we able to alter our future? My object in writing these pages is to indicate possibilities inherent in man to show that man can alter his future, but thus altered, it forms again a deterministic sequence starting from the point of interference, a future that will be consistent with the alteration. The most remarkable feature of man's future is its flexibility. It is determined by his attitudes rather than by his acts. The cornerstone on which all things are based is man's concept of himself. He acts as he does and has the experiences that he does because his concept of himself is what it is and for no other reason. Had he a different concept of self, he would act differently. A change of concept of self automatically alters his future. <laughs>